about tobacco juice and mason jars of shine. I think about the vices I've let take me over time. All edible green. You see it there in the middle of the screen? It's a single leaf plant. Uh, I was told it's called deer tongue. I'm probably sure it's got a scientific name, but there it is. Takes a lot to pick to make a mess of, but it goes with other greens like cow parsley, oak, lamb's quarter, quick look at Missouri State plants of may apple. Get some really young broad roots. Look how big it is. Hardly bigger than my thumb. Check to the joke. Let's check out this cool old foundation. Look, well, this concrete, I believe it's post Civil War. Seems like it's some 40 feet long. You see, for anchors, it doesn't have re rod. Has this rod iron. Uh, probably made nearby one of the smelters. One at Moselle. One up Johnson Branch. Now on this side, they just got square pilings, whatever you want to call them. More of the rod arm, rod iron in it. Run down through there. Like I say, it seems like it's some 40 feet and probably 12 feet wide corn crib. I know the history of this farm before it was conservation. Post-Civil War corn crib. Some pre-bloom jack in the pulpit here going off here. You going to survive this? I can go down for you guys real quick. Come on. Head out. Come here, guys. I'll bring you. Careful. Watch All right, the guys. All right, guys. I think he's going to break them. I'm not going to break anything. Roll. I, I've i been down here like a thousand times. Oh, almost a thousand. Kid ain't been to woods a thousand times. Be quiet. <laughs> Easy. You know, this might be your last time if you mess around. See guys, I made it. Roll, I don't think you're gonna survive. I think Roll's gonna die. <laughs> See, oh, uh, you wanna look up in there? Go ahead, tell me is there. <laughs> Native American tongue out anywhere is here. When you think it hang out underneath there. Well, if I don't come across nothing else today, I come across my favorite wildflower, the bluebell. Still haven't found none of that cow pass or crow's foot. I don't think it's up yet. It comes up with a single leaf, grows into a stalk. Wonderful Merrimack River bottom bluebells. Works for me today, people, believe it or not. This is cow parsley or crow's foot. See the reason being, get a viewer, crow's foot. I don't know the scientific name, but it's one of the main greens that my family has always picked in the spring. It's not very... I found these pretty yellow flowers. I don't know what they are, but it is the sign of spring. Real pretty. I'll give you a little closer look at them. Give you a minute to look at them. They're pretty purple flowers. I don't know what they are, but they're a sign of spring. Some of these white flowers kind of look like butterflies. Pretty, don't know what they are. Sign of spring. Looking at the Merrimack River. Lots of sand blasted up over that grab bar over there. There's some showing down there. Nature's quite a lady, but you're the one I need. Viewers, it's legal to harvest nuts, such as hickory nuts, walnuts, 
wild grains and mushrooms on conservation areas for personal consumption. Yum, yum. Yeah, at one time, the Merrimack River run along this bluff line, I'm sure. Native habitat, habitation probably wasn't too much. Probably a trail along the Merrimack River so many thousands of years ago. We're going to try to get across it up there. There's a Sasquatch! Come here, Sasquatch! I'm going to pull your butt full wet! Ah, dang, I'm out! Oh. Creek here wants to swim across. Told him not today. Well, it's a little cold. Actually, river's up. Probably got four foot. Damn. 